Hello, I'm back from my spring break trip to Mexico. It was so nice and so short, of course. And now I'm back into getting back into the routine of studying and school and boards prep again. I anticipate having a pretty busy week. Tomorrow's going to be really busy, so I just wanted to hop in and say hi in case I don't film a lot tomorrow. But tomorrow I'm going to have my OMM or like my osteopathic comat. So basically like a practice boards but just for the OMM and the osteopathic principles uh, that's going to be for three hours tomorrow after that I'm going to have class my case-based learning for two hours then I have a meeting during lunch then I'm going to come back home um, get ready because we're going to have uh, our picture taken for I guess our ERAS residency application later on that way we can get a nice picture now we can use it for whatever we need and we don't have to pay for it later because the school is providing it for us now which is really nice and then I have my mask fit so yeah just like one thing after another back to back so it's going to be a long day but I am getting into the swing of things again and I am happy to be back to school and just like learning and in my routine so I'll see you guys tomorrow went home just so I could shower and, and come to school take a picture for 20 seconds and now I'm on my way to the gym very happy I got I managed to fit everything in today and I don't feel utterly exhausted so it's been a good day so far hopefully I can continue being productive Tumor lysis syndrome is an oncologic emergency caused by massive tumor cell lysis. I finished the second page of Sketchy Farm. I still have these drugs on the first page left, but I'm more than halfway through them. Good morning. Today's going to be an OMM heavy morning for me. I have my OMM practical exam at 1 and it's 11 right now, so I'm going to dedicate the next two-ish hours to studying just that because I didn't do that yesterday. Yesterday we also had our OMM OBP written assessments, so this whole week is just very, very OMM heavy. I'm kind of surprised when I watch other osteopathic DO med school YouTubers how little people talk about the OMM because OMM is such a big time commitment for us. I had my exam yesterday, I have my practical today, I'm also still trying to study for boards, which is both STEP and COMLEX, but I'm putting that on hold for now because I have to study for this in-house exam today. So what the exam is going to look like is um, we got a chief complaint, something like um, mastectomy, or edema, headache, whatever. We pick two regions of the body that we think might be contributing to it. So we're going to say headache, easy. We're going to look at the neck and the OA and AA joint. We're also going to look at the thorax. We have to give a reasoning behind it. So biomechanically, you know, anything structurally off might be compressing a nerve in our neck, causing us to have a headache. Similarly here, um, there's a thoracic duct, a lot of lymphatic drainage in the thorax, so we might want to open this up in order to promote circulation, kind of going from the head neck down to the thorax, so we'll treat both these regions. Once we picked our two regions and explained why, then we go ahead and do the diagnosis. So we're going to be examining asymmetry, bruising, swelling, skin, active range of motion for both head and neck and thorax. And then we do our diagnosis of the AA joint, OA joint and the cervicals and then thorax we do the first rib and then we do the thoracic spine from the back. Once we have our diagnosis our facilitator is going to make sure that the diagnosis is correct because we are graded for accuracy now. After that they're going to pick a region for us to treat. They will pick one treatment for us and one treatment we're allowed to just pick ourselves for each of the regions and then we're going to treat reassess. We are looking for a change so we are looking to see that we improved and they will check to see that there's improvement in this dysfunction. Next is the second part of the exam. This is where we're going to do Chapman's points. Chapman's points are points all the way from you know your neck down to like your groin area and we're, they're going to pick two Chapman's points for us. We have to correctly point them out, correctly verbally say where they are and what they are for. Then we're going to be diagnosing the ganglia, which are um, around your belly button and also the mesentery. Once we diagnose that, we also have to treat one of those. And then we're also going to be going through some lymphatic techniques. So they're going to pick a lymphatic technique and we have to correctly do a lymphatic technique as well. And this is finally where the exam is going to come to an end. So it's really long. There's a lot of parts to it, a lot of things to remember. Um, 
on top of just remembering it's a lot of being able to actually do things and do things correctly now that we're in second year and yeah and so i have a lot to study this morning so i just wanted to give an overview of what i'm going to be going through for the next two hours I passed my OM and practical. I'm so happy. What a relief. I was stressing out. Like, you know, when it gets to like an hour before the exam and you realize just how much you don't know. I don't know. I guess it was in there somewhere and I ended up passing. So, done with this. And the rest of it, the rest of today, I think is just going to be repro and boards again. I started eating more salads. I actually saw like a med school TikToker talk about this. It's like the salad packets that come pre, you know, chopped and seasoned and whatever. And then she got deli meat that she would just throw in there and I did the same thing and it's so fast and easy. And I literally never eat salads or vegetables. So this is like such an easy way for me to get in my veggies. I literally just started eating this this week and I really like it. A lot to do today. Today's a free day, so I don't have to go to school for anything. There were lectures happening this morning that I want to watch, but I'm going to start the day with 20 year old questions just to get those out of the way, so. morning in scrubs today because I'm going to be OMMTAing for the first year class, last one of the year. But before then, I started starting my mornings with my UWorld 20 question set because I think this is the thing that aggravates me the most. So I try to do it first, get it out of the way, and um, not have to think about it the rest of the day. And the reason being is I keep getting like 40 and 50 percent so it feels like I'm not even learning anything in medical school. I'm just taking this exam, bombing it every single time. I'm um, like I'm haven't been in medical school for the last two years so yeah I'm gonna start my morning with this lovely thing and then see what I'm gonna do after also I was gonna say if you're thinking about OMMTAing whether you should do it or not um, it's been a lot of fun it hasn't been a big commitment for me I've been able to teach which is always really fun and then also for selfish reasons I've been able to practice OMM, you know, go over OMM techniques from the first year that I might have forgotten or gotten rusty on and this has helped me a ton on, you know, the practice exams and the in-house exams that we have because it feels like I'm constantly reviewing the OMM that I probably wouldn't be if I didn't have to teach it for the first year. So if you're thinking about doing it, it has been worth it for me this year. I'm running into a problem with you world where I feel like I don't understand what they're asking me and I feel like they're asking me something and then actually trying to like trick me into something else like I just don't understand the wording of the question it's hard for me to freaking follow like for example I got this wrong I know exactly what each one of these words means I know what they I know what this means but then the question said which of the following this characterizes the new cholesterol measuring device new device and so here we have the second device that was measured is the gold standard one so I assumed that was the newest one and then here it said during the clinical trials of an early prototype. So I assumed when they're asking for the new measuring device, they're not talking about these three values. They're only trying to ask about this value because this is the new measurement. These were the old measurements with the old prototype. So I answered my answer based on this, but they were actually asking about this. I'm not running into this problem with true learn questions because they seem to be worded very plainly and it's easy to see exactly what they're asking for. I hate missing questions on UWorld because I just don't understand what they want from me. Like, do you want this measure? Do you want this measure? And I'm like losing points for the freaking grammar and English, not for my science knowledge. After I complained, this is actually better than how I usually do. Best part of the day is being able to close out a few world. And for that 20 question set, I had suspended 14 new cords. I started off the day a lot more productive than I'm finishing it. It's already 2 in the morning. I'm finishing my 20 question set of Truler questions for Repro. 
but I wanted to finish all the repro Anki today, which I didn't do, and then I wanted to start on the repro study guide for the repro exam on Monday, going over and annotating that, which I also didn't do. So I'm just going to finish out the question set and I'm just going to finish out the question set and call it a night because the morning and the day were a lot more productive. Um, so it's okay. Still have Friday, Saturday, Sunday to study. I had what feels like the most unproductive day today. I actually have no idea where the day went because the amount of hours that passed today and the amount of work that I did today just do not coincide. It just doesn't make sense. It's 11.40 at night. I still want to finish my 20 repro true learn questions. I want to finish the repro Anki cards, meet my Anki card goal for the day, which was 500, and I think I'm only at like 200 right now. And then I was trying to get through my like 80 page repro study guide that I was annotating, and I think I actually got through like 10 pages. So how did I accomplish so little? <laughs>